Hi guys, good to have you all with me today. In case you're new to my channel, because you are following Rachel and Bella's collaboration, How Boho Can You Go? Welcome to my channel. Let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands and I do paper crafting, junk journal projects, lots of vintage treasure hunting. The only thing I don't do is boho. <laughs> I'm a complete boho newbie. So you're in for a treat, guys, because uh, no clue. No clue. But that's an adventure. Those projects always turn out like the best. So, um, lots of stuff on my desk today. Let me tell you a little bit about sort of the plan. It is day 20. That means there have already been 19 fantastic projects. Um, they inspired me a lot because I'm a total boho newbie. Um, but the pressure is on because what can I bring to the table that you haven't already seen for the past couple of weeks? Um, I'm going to try, guys. I'm going to try. I went through my uh, craft room and just shopped for boho stuff. And I actually have a lot. I have a lot. So I think I've come up with a plan. Hopefully you like it. And hopefully it work out because I've never done anything like this. Okay, guys, let me show you what I've collected. And um, let's see what we are creating. I'm going to recycle. First, I'm going to recycle. I have an empty sketch pad. Yes. So I kept this because I wanted to uh, use these chipboard, very heavy chipboard thingies. But also I was thinking I could maybe make, because it's sort of ring bound, maybe I could make sort of a notepad journal thingy out of this. It's going to be hard because I don't have the machine for this. There's a, It's called Cinch. I don't know. I don't have this. So it's all going to be manual. So I actually want to make sort of a more of a notepad than a real journal yeah with this making a beautiful cover with dangles on it and putting some in some lovely paper so it's going to be a landscape sort of notepad journal thingy okay uh now guys you've all seen the wonderful kit from rachel and bella because it's day 19 it's day 19 i printed out a couple of pages I printed them four to a page because that is sort of the size that sh should fit in here. Um, I have the normal, uh, the sort of journal pages. And then I have the, the backgrounds, various of them. I just love them. Very colorful. Not my style at all. But, you know, they're pretty nonetheless. They're really, really pretty. Now, they are too small for the journal. But that's okay because I have other plans. For the other paper, I have this. Yeah. I got this probably in Happy Mail. Either in Happy Mail or I found it in a thrift shop. Now, this is beautiful paper that, to me, screams boho. Look with all the glitter. and It's, it's sort of handmade paper. Also have some a lovely uh, coffee dyed paper. Yeah. Some, some more with glitter. Look, look at this. Look at this. And with gold. Yeah. So, I want to make a very sort of colorful flip through I don't know, notepad, journal style. Look, look. Isn't it gorgeous? They're gorgeous. I'm never ever going to use them other than in a boho journal, which we are doing today. So I'm using the, all these papers. Some of, uh, and these go very well together. Some of uh, Rich and Bella's lovely um, digitals. Then I'm going to make a um, fabric cover. I went through my stash. I don't have a lot of boho um, fabrics. I have a lot of fabrics, but none of them really boho. This could work because of the gold and the um, sort of purplish hot pink. That could work. I also have this in hot pink. Like fuchsia or something. Lovely. But I also have all of these. These are sort of a silky satin. I don't know. These are swatches that came from sample books from probably curtains or or what have you uh and i do like the colors and i was thinking this one i was thinking this one bright colors are uh, all sorts of them and i actually want to cover one of these yeah want to cover one of these i think i'm going to use this and then i have this trims boho trims boho yes lots got this in happy mail and uh, I really need to use this. I, I believe it was Happy Mail. With all the beads and so oh, Isn't it lovely? Just 
fantastic. And I have this. This came all the way. I know for sure this came all the way from Dubai in Happy Mail. I could do something with this. Yeah. Mind you guys, uh, if you're new to my channel, I don't sew. I have a sewing machine, but we're not friends. So I don't sew. I'm going to glue everything. And this is actually the most fantastic piece. Look. Look. It just needs to be on here somehow. And all these sort of dangles. I'm going to try to utilize this. So it's going to be a this. I'm thinking. I'm hoping. Now for the tools, I'm going to use um, art glitter glue. Um, the scissors, the ruler, what have you. Um, my crocodile because I need need to punch holes. Yeah, I'm going to punch holes, and then uh, I'm going to add eyelets. Yeah. Well, and and probably more. Look at this. That's just. Yeah, that's boho. But what can I do with it? Mm, let's see. Let's find out, guys. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to concentrate on the cover first. You can actually take these apart if you're very, very careful. Yeah. Um, these are closed, the, the bigger ones, but the smaller ones are, are open. So if you sort of gently push them, not a lot because we also need them to snap back again. So just carefully take this out. This one is a little bit bent, but, but we're just going to bend it back manually. I don't need a machine. No. Okay. Um, this is going to be the front cover. I am just going to glue this on here, leaving a bit of room. Yes. On the edges and just make sort of, sort of a normal cover. Hoping, hoping. Okay. Taking out art for this. I'm going to explain a lot why I call this art. This is art glitter glue. If you're new to my channel, I name my things. <laughs> because I'm weird. In a good way weird, but I'm weird nonetheless. So this is called art. I also have a Bart. Barely art glue. Yeah. I have a glue gun called Drippy. Guess why? Because he drips. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm gonna put it down, like so. Ooh, this sort of silky, hoping it'll dry nice. Do we have something that flattens it out? Also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put stuff on here, so. Yeah, it's the, it's the glue that's going to seep through. Hopefully it'll dry, if not, it's going to be lovely. <laughs> um, fabric scissors. Let's take some fabric scissors because, you know, I invested in those. So just use them. Not really good at this. I'm just going to take off a corner, leave a tiny bit. That's not a tiny bit. That is a lot. I'm just going to fold it in. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now, this will glue very nicely because there's sort of a paperish stuff on here. It's probably um, used to... It looks like the stuff that is in the in the bottom of your trousers to um, hold the seam or, you know. You know. <laughs> Not a seamstress, but I know a little bit about it. I used to work in bridal fashion for, well, a gazillion years. Um, I wasn't a seam seamstress, but I have seen things, beautiful things made. So I know a little bit about it, but it's, you know, me and my sewing machine, just not friends. Let's see. I don't know what I'm going to do on the inside. Probably some of the beautiful paper. Some of it. It's very heavy material, so I'm hoping it will stick. 
I'm using art glitter glue for a couple of reasons. First, it, it does glue a fabric on anything. And also it, it dries very, very, very quickly. Not quick enough at the moment. <laughs> this actually needs, I'm thinking, a small snippy. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise it won't work. So this is not a tutorial. No, in case you're new, I do lots of tutorials uh, for beginners, but also uh, a little bit more advanced. This is an absolute beginner tutorial because I am a beginner at this. <laughs> so this tutorial is not for beginners, but by a beginner. How does it look on this side? You do see the spots here, but I have lots of stuff to put on. Okay, perfect. Before I'm going to punch in the holes, I'm going to cover it with a beautiful piece of paper. I'm doing the pink one with the glitters. Yep, I cut it, sort of cut it to size a little bit smaller. There's going to be so much glitter everywhere. It's going to look like a Christmas parade. There we go. Well, this sort of is the easy part. I'm really hoping um, that my crocodile will punch through the fabric. It should because I've tried this on other projects before. I cannot rub it <laughs> because then all the glitter will be gone. So I need to gently pr press it. Also, you may, may have noticed I'm not doing any inking. I'm not going to risk glitter on my daubers and then have glitters over every project that I will do in future. It's cute. It's really cute. Now, guys, this, going, this is going to be sort of a big, uh, big project. Um, so... I don't think I'm going to do the back cover. If I was going to do the back cover, I'm going to do it exactly the same as I'm doing now. So I'm just going to do uh, the front. Yeah. But by all means, if you're following along, do the same. Take it out. Do the same to the back cover. Perfect. Okay. Fortunately, I can feel where the holes are and I can sort of see it. So what I need to do is punch holes in here. Punching the holes worked, but it's not pretty. But that's okay. I sort of anticipated this. I'm going to put in eyelets, all different colors. Now, if you do this, guys, be sure your eyelets will go over um, the metal coil thing. E. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, it's going to be look. It's going to look so colorful. So I'm first. I'm going to sort of um, determine. The order of what I'm doing. Too many blues. Mm, red here. Pink. Blue. Orange and pink next to each other. It's boho love. <laughs> it's boho. Anything goes. Yeah? Oh, that does look cool. Could be done. Could be done. Okay. So I'm going to put all of these in. It is a little bit heavy. I'm hoping these are long enough. I'm, I'm just going to try. I'm just going to try. So let's decorate. I really like this. It looks colorful. Colorful. Uh, for sure, I'm going to have this lovely sort of beaded applique flower thingy on there. Uh, I think we're going to have it. Over here, a little bit on the green. Yeah. Now I feel like collaging, but that's going to be a little bit difficult. But I see in the corner of my eye, I have some of these sort of paper doily thingies. Paper lace doilies. This is actually um, wallpaper. Do we have something in a brighter color? Probably not. Because I don't do a lot of bright colors. 
Or I have this one. But that's a rather small one. It could be like behind here. Or just, you know, a bigger one. Just a bigger one. I think that does look lovely. Now there are a couple of spots here because of, well, the glue. I was hoping it would disappear. I want to put something on here. And also maybe a trim on this side. I don't think the silver pink will do or the green. So I'm going to go for this one. Let's have a look. Sure. Sure. I've already taken out my glue gun because I think that's the best way to go. Yeah. Okay, so we have some spots here, but I also have these that I think are really lovely. It could be like two more flowers. And then there are some leaves in here. Let's see. Also these big flowers, can they be underneath? Oh yeah, that looks lovely. There we go. This and this, and then leafy thing behind here. The two different ones. Let's see. Another leafy thing. What do you guys think? Yes? No? Maybe? Hmm? Or do we need to just remove this here? Because there's no spots here. Just have this here and then this here. I think that's the better way to go. Yeah, we could add sort of a book play thingy here if we wanted to. Okay, uh, I don't need any um glue gun for this of course so i'm just gonna put art on just having some dots on them i love these sort of paper doilies these are die cuts uh but gluing on part not so much not so much now i know there are tricks for this but and not with art glitter glue. <laughs> okay. So many sort of glitters everywhere. <laughs> There's glitters everywhere. So this is going to go on here. Yes. And this. I'm not taking any chances. This is um, drippy. I'm hoping drippy will work. Yeah. It's my glue gun. It looks like a big drill. Uh, it's a rather good one, but it does drip. Well, I think they all do. We need to wait until it gets green. Yes, green. Take this out of the way. Now, this does dry really, really quick. So I need to be very, very quick. Already taken too long because it's already drying now. Let's just see. It still works. Quickly, love, quickly. And will it still work? It does. Thank you for your service, Drippy. Oh, yeah. Love this. Uh, what are we going to do with this? Are we going to do Drippy or Art? I'm going to do Art. On the right side, I need to get rid of all the... Yeah. I'm going to let it overhang a little bit. Just a half of the flower. Okay. There we go.
I'm just wondering guys, how many of you are actually new here? Or all of you already knew me or, you know, let me know in the comments if you knew. Say hi. Would love that. There we go. Well, that's not, it needs a thing. It need, I know, it needs a thing. This is a little bit loose so I can sort of put something. I'm going to think about this. I found a big label because I love labels and I think I can just sort of fit it in there. Yeah, but it's rather plain. So we're going to zhuzh it up. I think I want to put this either on the top or on the bottom somewhere. Make another sort of floral cluster thingy. But also need something here. Um, I'm going to put on a rub-on. I have this one that says my book. I am not one for sentiments, guys. So that is why I'm not doing any of the words in the in the kit. You could use that, but it. I'm sorry, they creep me out. Uh, like memory and positive thinking. I I'm just not one for positive thinking. <laughs> Don't need it. I'm always positive. Well, try to try to at least. So I'm thinking to have this in the background and then put my book over it. Maybe a little bit of inking. Maybe a tiny bit of inking. It's maybe a little bit too wide. And now it isn't. Ta-da. Well, the back of it's still white. Yeah, there wasn't a sort of real label uh, in the digital kit that I could use. I just checked. It's so big, guys. There's so... Well, you probably all have the kit already because it's been out now for a couple of, couple of weeks. Yeah, I need to have this on in the background. Yes, give me a sticky. There you go. These apply apply really easy. You could even do it with your fingernails. Well, it says so. It says so on the packaging. So let's let's just see. Well, I inked it now, so that makes it a little bit more difficult. Don't know what this says, guys. It's in the French or something I can't read. Now let's have my book on here because it's going to be my book. And it's in gold, so that's also lovely. Let's have a look. I want to see it as a whole. This is going to go on here. And this is going to go a little bit below. Yes, a little bit below. My book. Now I'm hoping we can sort of easily put it, put it in the ring binding system thingy. That's going to be a little bit of a struggle, I can imagine, but look at that. Yes. Well, there it goes. There it goes. Fantastic. It's going to go on here. And then that whole bit is going to go on there. Yeah. I'm going to struggle, guys, with my glue gone. Uh, and because I want to do a lot more and I don't want this video to be, well, 12 hours long gonna do that off camera so this is gonna go on here right it's on what I also did guys I sort of collaged on the inside yeah with some small pieces put blue on the back this big heart this big gold heart and then this yeah and uh, put in eyelets I just put in uh, the gold ones because it went very well with the, with the big gold heart yeah okay but now we need pages for the inside I have an idea let me show you I have the small journal cards, yeah? I'm going to fold these in half. Then I have this and this. I already round the corners on this one. I'm going to make this into sort of pockets. Yes, one of them, this probably going to have a pocket with a window. And I'm going to have this in the background. So, 
Where's my cover? Yeah. I'm going to have a page. Yay big. Yeah. Put probably this on it. Make a I'm going to make a round window. Then I'm going to fold this in half. Yeah. It's going to be a journal card. Now from the circle that I cut out here, I'm going to make a tab on the top. This one is going to go on the other side. Doesn't that look lovely? It does. Not going to make, well, I'm going to make a pocket in here. I'm just going to leave the top open. Now, here's the sort of problem that I'm going to run into. I need to sort of maneuver them in these. And this is way too, no, well, it's not really flimsy, but I want some sturdier paper. So I'm going to make sort of, sort of a hinge thingy. I'm going to make a strip out of this, put the holes in there. Yeah. I'm going to do that with every page. This is the, the idea for uh, the blue one. Back, front, cardstock. Beautiful. Yeah. So I'm going to walk you through this. I'm not going to do all of them on camera. Because again, you know, we don't need it. Um, this I need. This is actually for... Um, I'm going to measure it like so. Four and a half inches. Yeah. So I need a strip of four and a half by one and a half inches. I'm just gonna take a four and a half first, like so, and then a one and a half. Okay. Now I need to fold this in the middle. Did I nick the camera? I am so sorry, guys. There we go. I'm gonna fold it in the middle. Now I'm probably just folding in middle. So I am going to use my scoreboard for this. Totally unnecessary, guys. Just fold it in the middle. I cannot find my score thingy. Well, let's use the big bone folder then. This just helps. Now I want to have rounded corners. I just like rounded corners. This is just me. I want to round the corners on the opening. I'm going with seven. There's a couple of layers. I'm hoping it will work. Yes. Yeah. Rounded corners. Okie dokie. There are going to be holes in here. Yeah. I'm taking out this as a sort of a template. So I'm going to put this behind here. Yes, leave a little bit of room from the edge. So not flush to the edge. Yes, like so. Well, let's let's punch some holes in here. I just want to make some markings where we need to punch all these holes. And I'm going to punch the holes with this device. It's like a perforator, but then a single one. You could also use a crop dial or any other device that makes small holes. And there we go. Yes. I'm going to try to punch a small hole in the center. Try to eyeball the center. And the last one. Yes. See, there are small holes in here now. I'm not gonna uh, make the holes because I first need to put this piece of paper in. Now, this we need to have, um, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to make this four inches. This is four and a half. I'm just going to make them half an inch smaller. And then the length is going to be like, well, yay much. So I'm just going to mark it. I'm going to cut it at four and a half and a little bit shorter than the cover. Oops, I'm sorry. Four and a half, a little bit shorter than the cover. Okay. I cut it to size, rounded corners just on one side. This is going to be glued on the inside. Yeah. I'm just going to put glue on. Now the page on the inside is a little bit smaller than the hinge. I thought it might look cute, but you know, it might not. I'm just going to glue this in. Yeah. Put glue on the other side. We go a little bit more here. Now 
and I'm going to let this dry. Okay, this is the one that I want to have on front of on the front of here. I'm going to have a circle cut out here as a pocket. I'm just going to use my two and a half, no, two inch circle punch. Not necessary lots. I just want to make sort of a window because it's beautiful paper. I just want to see some of the paper. Yes. Alrighty then. Oh, I'm going to keep this. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. Gluing this on as a pocket. So on the side, on the bottom and on the other side. Don't these um, colors go lovely together? I am so into autumn colors, like fall colors, like these mustard yellows and rusty hinge <laughs> and stuff. I just love it. I just love it. Okay. Um, do I already have... I made the journal card. I just I just folded this in, guys. Put well, on. Let, let me show you. I'm going to put glue here. Just fold it in. Put glue on the inside. Yes. Glue it down. Rounding corners. It's best to let it dry for a bit, guys. But who has the time? I don't. Don't have the time. Are we inking? We are inking. Vintage photo. Yes. Oh, this is how I make my journal card. But, but for this one, I already made one. Now I'm going to use the circle of the punch to make a tab with. Now, this is tricky. I have a tab punch. I have this one, guys. It is too small, but it'll work. I've, I tried it. Yes, I've been trying stuff out. Of course I have. Just gonna fold it in half. Now, if you don't have a circle punch, uh, a tap punch, you can sort of take um, this and uh, snip a bit off a corner. It will make it into um, a tap, a whale tail tap. I have the punch. I love the punch. Everybody loves the punch. They love it so much. It's been sold out. Fast and creative, probably be like, how that happened? Well, seven plaza happened and told everybody, get the punch. <laughs> oh yes, let's be smart. Yeah, nee, that no, that's that's way easier than you know punching it in a different way. Yeah, I'm gonna try this again. It did work. Oh, there's a piece of um cardstock is still in here, yes. Because I already tried it out. It is too small, but I just want to use the light, uh, utilize it, guys. So I'm just going to make a new tab with this. Yep. Flops. There you go. Are we inking? We are inking. And I'm just going to glue it on. I'm not going to have it stick out a lot. Um, because I, I don't think I want to have it stick out above the cover. So, just a tiny bit. There you go. Yes. I'm going to have it like so. Because I really want to have some of the gold there. Right? And then on the back, I was thinking this one. Isn't that pretty? Yes. So we're rounding corners. I'm not going to make a notch in here. Do some inking. I'm going to have the, the pocket on the top, but you could also do it on the side but I'm gluing it here here and here I love this paper 
I love this paper. I would probably use this again. Yeah, this is really, really my style. They are sort of brighter colors, but muted, muted. I do love my pinks, absolutely. Okay. Floating a little bit from the bottom. Yes. Okay, new pocket. Now we need to punch these holes. You can take out your cropper dial or any other device that makes holes. I'm going to sort of line up the dots that I made. See, just eyeballing it in the middle. Doesn't need to be precise, precise. Try to, guys, try to have it precise. Well, I'm trying to. Very heavy because it's, well, three layers now. But it works. Cannot believe I'm doing bow hole. This is not my thing. It's pretty, but it's not my thing. Most times the lady, if I do a lady, she's either Victorian or Edwardian or uh, from the 40s, 50s, <laughs> but not something fantasy like. No. And the last one. Yes, see, now it will eventually fit in here. That's the front, right? Oh, okay, well, this side on, yeah. Um, I'm going to make five. I'm going to make five of these all different colors. So it's going to be like a color explosion. Yeah, they're done and I love them. It's just, it's just cute. See you guys, yeah. So I'm gonna put them in. I think I'm going to decorate them a little bit more, but first, and we're going to do the struggle of putting them in. Where did I leave the... Yeah, okay. So there's a trick to this. Because you cannot start here. You need to start here. So I'm going to start with the last one. And the last one needs to be... I think I'm going to put it in like so. Is that the right way to go? I think so. I'm gonna do it like so. Let's let's just find out. I'm not gonna do all of them on camera, guys. No, because probably this will be tricky and maybe bad words will be spoken. Well, so far so good. So far so good. No bad words yet. No. Next one. I don't want to um, bend them too much. I want to keep them sort of in, in shape. So Do not try this at home. <laughs> okay, this goes. There's probably a trick. I'm gonna find out with the last one, yes? With the last, the last thing I'm doing, I'm like, oh yeah, well, that's the best way to do it. That's, you know, that's what happens to me all the time. Okay, and this goes on the top and this goes on the bottom. It is sort of working. Again, I do not want to bend it a lot. It needs to be back into shape. Oh my gosh, the glitters, guys, the glitters. Okay, did we do it right? Well, that worked. This is the back. Yeah. I'm going to do just one of these. These are a little bit thinner, so it should work quicker. One. Oh, that works very quick. Two. Three. Yes. I'm very happy I made these sort of hinge tab thingies. And also pretty. I just think it's cool. Oh, yes, it works. It works, guys. Okay, so I'm going to put all of them in and then 
the front. Everything is in. It looks fantastic. I love it a bunch. Guys, now what did I do? I put a pocket here because there was a space here and I put some trim on it. <laughs> yeah. I am not going to decorate here. Probably not. Uh, but I do want to decorate on some parts. Now, this is already beautiful, but this could sort of use, well, a butterfly. I am really into butterflies at the moment. So I'm just taking out one for 16. Let's see. Purple one. Let's do a big purple one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of trouble with these backings. Was it with these ones? I think so. Let's see. I'm so rubbish at this. Oh, well, there it goes. There it goes. Just, you know, lovely butterfly over here. Or we could do another one here. Let's do another color. Like a pinky one. Oh, that sort of disappears into the background. What else do we have? I wouldn't mind some of the sort of more fantasy ones. Like this. Oh yeah, that is cool. Yes. Okie dokie. I'm going to check real quick when I finish this. If we have some time to make... I want to have a dangle on here. Oh, that is cute, right? Yeah. I have these lovely boho dangles. So I'm thinking I can add some on the on the rings. Maybe. There's a baby outside crying. I'm sorry. Not my baby. Already butterfly. I'm not going to add another one. Do we have a oh, big yellow one? Big yellow one. There we go. It's either magpies or babies over here. <laughs> Too beautiful already. I might add another sort of yellowish, greenish one. Well, that's the exact same. But it is cute though. Isn't it? Isn't it cute? Maybe green? Much better. Yes, I'm going to do the green one. By the way, guys. The last one did not go very well. I was like, I'm the last one, I'm going to do the best. Well, no. <laughs> it didn't go that well, the last one. Maybe a red one? Quite a pink. Oh, look at the fishy. I put a fishy. Yes, why not? There was room there. And I thought, let's put on a fishy. Why don't we? lovely butterfly so yeah we do no butterflies there no butterflies there great do we need a butterfly here yes we do so many of these and the person who get us uh, gifted me these it was like, I don't even notice them being gone. <laughs> yes, way more. Oh, I love this one on here. Fantastic. Let me check real quick, guys, because um, there's these bead thingies. These ones. And I'd love to have them sort of dangle. What do you think? Yeah? Let's check. I think it will work. I have jump rings. I have lots of jump rings. Yes, you could tell I'm a jewelry maker. No, I'm not. <laughs> Actually not. Uh, and I'm just going to sort of loop them through one of these. Hopefully. Or just with my hands. Because that will probably work better. There we go. Yes. one here I should get some better tools but it's on well there's one 
Oh, yes. Love it. So I'm going to do all of them. They're all on. I really love the end result. Look at that. And it wrinkles because there are uh, small bells on here. Yeah. And even the jump, the jump rings have different colors. So pretty, pretty. Guys, uh, well, that's it. Let's have a, a quick flip through. I added a couple more things. Not a lot. I added one more leaf because it looked like it had like ears. <laughs> so it looks a little bit uh, better now. Yeah. And um, um, I added the butterfly here. I, I might have added uh, this butterfly and, and, and another one somewhere. Yeah, pocket here. Now I've used these glittery papers. You can tell by the glitters everywhere. And I mean, they are every, <laughs> everywhere. Um, to me, shiny glittery stuff is boho uh, and um, odd color combinations and such. So boho is something different to everything. I tried to explain to my husband, Tim. He was like, bohemian? You mean in Rhapsody from Queen Ham? I didn't even bother to <laughs> try to explain. So yeah, I really love this color combination. I sort of coordinated on a page, but not all the pages together. Because all, to all the pages together, that's not my thing. No, because I wouldn't pair these doesn't look that bad, but I wouldn't pair these. Added another butterfly. These are also pocket, guys. So you can put stuff in. It's like a pocket flip through thingy. But you can do this with any papers you want, of course. Um, this one. Yeah. Another pocket butterfly. With the pinks. This is my style. I do love this. I'm more... I don't know, muted colors or, oh yeah, well, pink. I love pink, of course. This is totally my thing. Now, in the kit, there is a, like a real bohemian pack that has these uh, pages in them. I especially love these. Everything is pretty, but to me, these are usable always in any project. Well, this is absolutely fall. I, I decided to skip summer this year. Yeah, I'm just doing fall things. <laughs> oh, I cannot stand the heat. And then this one, again, totally my style. Not my style at all. Uh, it, ga it gives me giggles. It has glitters and a fishy with sequins. And, and why not? Why not? And then the back. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I need to uh, thank Rachel and Bella for inviting me again for this uh, collaboration. was happy to do it. Get me outside of my comfort zone. And making this lovely kit for us. Yeah. I'll be back again tomorrow, guys, with another video. I am doing another collaboration, believe it or not. I am doing the five item swap with Peggy at the Paper Bum Bumblebee. Always thought she was from Australia, but she's actually Dutch. So um, I'm hoping you'll join me again tomorrow for another sort of challenge <laughs> i have no clue what i'm in for but let's just see guys thank you for hanging out with me today until tomorrow bye